Hi everybody, Dr. Garcia from Garcia Facial Plastic Surgery. Today we're going to talk about buccal fat. Buccal fat is the fat that's located deep within the face. It's the fat that's just inside of the mucosal membrane of the mouth and it's a normal fat pad. In some patients this fat pad can be voluminous and it can be large but in the majority of our patients, the buccal fat is uh, normally placed and normal in terms of volume. In today's day and age, it's more and more popular to have patients come in and ask about buccal fat pad removal. Uh, there's a lot of influencers and a lot of celebrities that have done this procedure. My particular overall feeling about this procedure is that we have to look at things within the context of the aging process and one of the most important things that happens as we grow older is that you actually lose fat within the face the volume of the overall volume of fat in the face is reduced and along with that you create shadows and you create indentations and a lot of the problems that we interpret as the signs of aging so it stands to reason that removing fat from the face is not advisable so typically my feeling about buccal fat removal is that unless it is a overwhelming amount of fat to where the patient appears to have full cheeks at rest as if they have food inside their mouth at rest we typically don't intervene with removing buccal fat because in my opinion it expedites the aging process i realize a lot of patients want to have the procedure done because they want to have a more tapered lower face but there's always a word of caution with this procedure in that eventually in your life you're going to wish that you had that buccal fat back because it is going to prematurely age you so i am very strict with my criteria for buccal fat uh, removal and it's uh, it seems to be a very popular procedure my feeling is that this procedure will come and go and that uh, people will not be requesting this procedure either because they're seeing the permanent changes that it causes or because that look is not going to be uh, fashionable forever so whenever patients come in we talk about the pros and the cons of these procedures including what i just discussed with you but it's very important that you have a reputable surgeon discuss this procedure within the context of the aging process and its effect within the aging process.